G'day legends, welcome back to another episode. Young Nomad style, of course. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well wherever you are in the world. And on this episode, I'm gonna share with you the 12 volt overhaul that we've done on Sherman, our mighty LC 200 series Land Cruiser. Um, but before I jump into that, thank you to all our followers and subscribers. Your continued support is invaluable and we really appreciate it. For those that haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for all your notifications so you can enjoy the content that we proudly put together to share it with you on all great things, great outdoors, exploring, fishing, camping, caravanning, touring, all the good stuff that we love to do. Now, let's get into it. So I'm gonna share with you what we've done with our 12 volt setup on the Land Cruiser. Uh, why we've done it, what we've learned, what we've changed, and why we've gone down the path that we have. Now, this probably was influenced by a recent trip that I did to the far west coast over to Yalatar. I've gone through about three AGM deep cycle 100 amp hour batteries in the last three or four years. And after the last one letting me go, letting me down at Yalatar, I was about two days into a nine day trip where the voltage was only getting up to about 11.2, 11.3 volts during the day. That's with 350 watts hard mounted solar panel on top of the roof and a 200 watt solar blanket snapped in as well. So obviously during the day when it's nice clear sunny light today to only get up to about 11.2, 11.3 volts, something's wrong. Uh, obviously at night when there wasn't sunshine, the voltage was getting down to about 10.8, 10.6, which not ideal. When you've got a fridge in the back of the car with all your drinks and food plus a 100 litre freezer in the back of the car that's keeping all your bait frozen for your fishing fishing trip not ideal so i lost about a day and a half fortunately i was able to speak with the folks um the mechanic at nundrew there who was able to get me another deep cycle bosch battery shipped up from sojuna to nundrew and then i had to get to nundrew to get it so i lost about a day and a half out of my trip in total but it got us through but i promised myself when i get back agm see you later we're going lithium and that's exactly what i've done so what I'll firstly point out is, you'll see behind me here, we've gone in the cab with a 200 amp hour Voltex lithium prismatic cells battery. Now, I did a lot of research on this battery and I was looking for bang for buck, good value, because on the caravan, I spent over $4,000 on two DCS 200 amp hour lithium slimline batteries. Reason being, um, uh, we spend more 12 volt in the caravan than what we do in the Land Cruiser. Literally the Land Cruiser, I probably go off grid fishing maybe half a dozen times a year, where I'm at most off grid maybe two or three days. So yeah, absolutely, two or three days off grid, 100 amp hour AGM battery, no problems. Um, but I'm finding now I'm starting to spend more time off gridding and swagging with the Land Cruiser, so I thought it's time to up the ante with our 12 volt here. Um, obviously the Yalatar trip, that's nine days that we're off grid, just swagging with the Land Cruiser. Um, I've got plenty of water on board as well, which I'll show you in a moment, but um, yeah, normally 12 volts ran out of the caravan, so I spent the coin there. I didn't want to spend as much here, so I was looking for value for money. Now these batteries, yes, they're prismatic cells. Yes, they're made in China. I did a lot of research over a number of weeks, and I looked for reviews, I Googled them, I looked at YouTube videos. I tried to find every single flaw I possibly could about the battery. I really couldn't find anything. Um, so, you know, I thought, okay, these batteries normally retail for about 13, 1400 bucks. I got it for under a thousand dollars shipped door to door from interstate within three business days. Pretty good gum. Comes with a three full year backed warranty as well. I got it from outbacks.com.au, which is backed by them. I thought, you know, for under a thousand bucks, get 200 amp hours lithium battery. You can't go wrong. That's good value for money. Absolutely. So that's what I've done here. It also fit quite nicely above my fridge hutch there as well. And I'll show you how that's been mounted. Uh, so that's the way that I've gone. Um, I haven't gone the DCS battery, which as much as I would like to have, that way I could have had the app that reads um, the battery performance in the caravan and in the car. Yet yeah, I'm probably saving $1,000 going this way. So, But where I've saved, I've invested it in other areas, such as my BC to DC controller and an inverter as well. So I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but that is really what I wanted to do so that when the wife and I and the little one travel in the caravan, we want to get into the Kimberleys region, we want to get up to the tip. We want to be able to disconnect the caravan and go off grid, chuck the swags on the Land Cruiser, get off grid for seven, eight, nine days. We had water to do it, 
we could have food to do that, but we probably didn't have the power to do it. We've now got that, and um, it's overkill for my general local fishing adventures, absolutely, but I would rather over-engineer than under-engineer. So let's jump in on, I'm gonna show you the setup anyway. So um, you'll see here, I've got my draw system, okay? 65 litre Waco fridge freezer there as well. I go Waco all round because they use, their compressors use the least amount of uh, current and they draw the least amount of current in terms of any fridge on the market. So you'll see here, 200 amp hours, lithium, deep cycle for one 65 litre fridge, absolutely overkill. But that Waco 95 litres is what I put on freeze when I go fishing with myself or my brother, which we're departing for a trip on the 27th of this month, stay tuned. I'll share some more details on that trip that's coming real shortly, but that goes across the back seat of the Land Cruiser. So when we've got that plugged in, and that's set to minus 18 to keep all our bait frozen, all our meats frozen, plus this fridge running, absolutely, that's they're both gonna draw a lot of current. So as I said, on the roof, I've got a 350 watt mounted solar panel, and I've got a 50 amp Red Arc BC to DC controller. Now, that's probably overkill when you think I've only got 350 watts of solar above, which is probably gonna put somewhere between 18 to 21 amps back into the battery, right? Well, here's the catch, folks. I've got an Anderson here where I can snap in my 200 watt solar blanket. So when you combine the solar on the roof and my solar blanket, I'm probably gonna be putting in somewhere between 38 and 42 amps on a good day. So again, I've over-engineered with a 50 amp Red Arc high quality BC to DC controller there as well. Now here I've got my switches. Now I've opted to go all USB plugs because everything's USB plugs these days. How often do you use a cigarette plug? I've got one amp and 2.1 amps, two of those. So we can have up to four things plugged in the back here, mobile phone chargers, you name it. Here I've got my controllers. So one controls the fridge power, one controls the travel buddy power, one controls the LED light that I've got across the back here, the 12 volt for the water pump that's at the back here for my 65 litre tank that I've got there as well. And then obviously I've got an awning light that runs along the side there. So um, we've got a 12 volt gauge, as uh, we've got a voltage gauge here as well. So that is, that's mounted to the in-cab lithium battery there as well. Alrighty, so that's inside the cab, that's the battery. I'll jump up here and just show you on the cage, I've mounted an 1000 watt Red Arc inverter. So you can see here, hard mounted, 1000 watt inverter, nice and neat, real tidy. Big shout out to the guys from Bosch Auto Electrical Car Services or GD Auto Electrics there at Para Hills. These guys have done all my 12 volt work of late and absolutely love their work. A family owned business, local business, good quality. I think Jared, Jared, if you're watching this, if, you, if that's you and you did my work, thanks mate. Um, did a great job. Now, this is what I've done. So this is the 100 amp hour Bosch AGM deep cycle battery that I had shipped up from Sejuna to Nundru to get me out of trouble when I was on my Yalatar trip. Now, previously, all my 12 volt was running off here. LED strip, LED light, fridge, camp oven, travel buddy, sorry. Um, the whole lot. It looked like an abortion. Things were tacked on, tacked on, tacked on, tacked on. And it just looked overkill. Whereas now, these two batteries purely are for cranking, turnover. There's an isolator, so I can isolate between both batteries. I can have both on, or I can just opt to have one on if I'm off grid to make sure we've always got plenty of cranking charge. Um, even though I've got a, a jumper pack, so that if the batteries do go flat, I can plug on my jumper pack to jump start us, I think, four times or five times with the jumper pack that I've got. Um, but this is still a deep cycle AGM. So good thing here is, is that if the battery inside faults or anything happens, this is still AGM lithium battery that I can use as a backup if need be. Now I'm gonna jump into the back of the cab and just show you here, just behind the rear passenger seat, you'll see there's that inverter, the Red Arc 1000 watt inverter. There's the plug. And what I'm gonna do is probably mount my drone battery charger somewhere down the back here. I haven't worked that out yet. 
But that's really the main reason I've got it. Mobile phone charger, all this, powered by solar, um, but mainly for my drone batteries, so that when I'm off grid, and I want to charge my batteries for my drone, which the battery charger for the drone charger is only 240. I can now do it and it's all hooked up to the solar. You may know the Land Cruiser comes standard with a built-in inverter, but that only operates when the car's running. So I'll just show you. There's the built-in inverter plug right there. But like I said, that only runs that only runs when, when the car's running. I didn't want that. I wanted it to be able to charge my batteries off the solar, which it can do. So there you go, folks. That's the Sherman's LC200 12 volt overhaul. Um, yes, it was expensive, but bloody hell, you know, life's short. And um, you gotta enjoy these things. And we're looking to get off grid more so than being off on grid. So that's why we've set up the van that way. And now the Land Cruiser well complements it. So I now have confidence if I take the wife and the little one off grid for six, seven, eight days, we've got water, we've now got power, baby. Any questions, comments, I'd love to hear from you. Drop them down below. You know I always get back to you. Whatever you do, keep safe, keep well, and stay tuned. I'm gonna be putting together some content of our Yalatar trip very shortly. Unfortunately, I did get too much fishing content because well, A, we didn't get too many fish. We got about a dozen fish ranging from about 40 centimeters. I think the biggest went about a meter 27. Um, and sometimes when the boys got on, I wasn't with them, unfortunately, to get the content. So I'll put together what I've got over the next week and share that with you guys and girls. But stay tuned, my brother and I, the 27th, Monday week from today, we're headed off to the far west coast. We're gonna be stalking around the far west coast of Sejuna, uh, sorry, Fowler's Bay. We're gonna hook on a trailer. We're gonna have the quad bikes. We're gonna be swagging it. It's gonna be just pure epic fishing. Eight, nine, 10, 11 hours per day for about seven or eight days. So hopefully we get on some big fish during that trip. We're gonna be fishing hard um, and I'll be releasing that episode in January. So I'm gonna be off grid for the next few weeks. Fishing, adventuring, family, downtime, Christmas, whatever you do, sending you many blessings for the festive and New Year period. And uh, may you enjoy this time of year with loved ones, um, sharing many, many joyful moments, lots of laughter, and absolutely surrounded by loved ones. And look forward to connecting with you guys and girls through out 2022. And a thanks again, as always, for your support. It means the absolute world to me. I just wish I had more time to do this stuff, but I'm not sponsored. I do work full time, I run a business, I have a family, so I try and put as much together as I can when I do get the opportunity and chance. Um, but in 2022, I'm making a commitment to do more of this, to share more of this good stuff with you guys and girls so you can learn and get out there and explore and live the Australian dream. All right, folks, bye for now. Thanks for joining us, cheers.